Hey, good morning everybody. Jeff here. As I was reading and praying this morning, I thought of a phrase that uh, a mentor of mine or a role model of mine, and uh, Rich Litvin, that he, is, he says often. And the phrase is, be you, serve them. And I just, I thought about that this morning. And I thought about, well, what does that really mean? And we, we start our day with so many thoughts and so many ambitions and, and worries and concerns. And I thought of today, if today my only focus was to embody those two parts of that phrase, be me and serve them, be you and serve them, what would today be like? The first thing I thought of is what we have to stop and And answer the question, who am I? Who am I? What makes you, you? What makes you unique? Last week, I I shared a a message that each of us, each of you have value and worth. So stop for a minute and think about what makes you, you? Your values, your strengths, the people in your lives, your, your community, your experiences, all of these things make you, you. It's not your title. It's not your accomplishments. Those things may, may bring with them elements that, that shape and define your character and make you, you, but that's not you. That's not me. So be you and then serve them in every interaction that, that you have today. Approach it without any thought of yourself or what the outcome might be, what the result might might the result that might occur because of that act of service. Remove any thought of ease. Remove any thought of comfort or of result that might come from that act of service. But whoever you encounter, just serve them. Just serve them. Out of, out of the gift that you are to, that in, to the world and to the person that you're encountering in that moment. Be you, serve them. This weekend I had a chance to work with about 70 student leaders from across the southeast of the United States and I, set, I shared with them that story that, that, that about the, the wise leader who was interacting with the, the young aspiring leader and the young aspiring leader said to the to his counterpart, how do I know if I'm a leader? And the wise leader smiled and said, well, that's easy. Look behind you. If you look behind you and no one is following, you're not a leader. You're just on a walk. And so as we look behind us today, for those of us that are in a leadership role, are there people following? If they're following, if there are those there that you see that they're following our lead, why are they leading? Are they leading because you carry the biggest stick? You have the loudest voice? You have the biggest title? Or are they following you because you've abided by that axiom? Be you, serve them. People will follow you. You'll have influence because you bring every part of yourself to the to the place where you are, to your leadership role, and without any attachment to the result or to an expectation of receiving something in return, you've served them. So serve well today. Have a great one, and I can't wait to talk to you again.